Good evening, everyone. I'm News 10 meteorologist Steve Caparizzo. Weather update on uh, some pretty bad flash flooding that's been occurring uh, from Gilderland up through Colony, Latham into the immediate Albany area, now moving into uh, Rensselaer County. Let's show you the uh, storm tracker uh, radar. We have uh, flash flood warnings in effect around Gilderland till 10 o'clock tonight, right through Albany, East Greenbush, Post and Kill Sand Lake until 10:15. Uh, many reports of one and a half to as much as three and a half inches of rain. We have a report from a, a National Weather Service observer in Westmere of 3.32 inches of rain. That's on the east side of Gilderland. We're getting reports of some road closures. New Salem Road and Route 85 was closed. We heard uh, the fire department is very active in Del Mar. Basically, any low spots in urban areas that collect water are collecting water. The rainfall rates in this system up to two inches per hour. Let's get a tight shot to show you where this thing is going. Brunswick to Post and Kill to East Greenbush. This is working slowly off to the east and northeast. So it, when it hits, it lasts about 45 minutes to an hour. But in that span of time, you may pick up two inches of rain causing flash flooding. Very heavy rain, thunder and lightning now around Ravenna, New Baltimore, up to Castleton. This is tracking northeastward as well into Rensselaer County, and this extends back into northeastern Greene County. That is the heaviest rains that we have. Another area of heavy rain could cause some localized flash flooding around Steventown to East Nassau. One thing to keep in mind, folks, when you look at this radar, the ground is compromised. We've had so much rain in the past uh, two weeks that it doesn't take as much rain to produce flash flooding. And in urban situations, especially with the runoff coming down roads and the pavement and the storm drains literally can keep up with the intensity of that rain. That's when you have urban flooding, which we've been seeing around Albany, Colony, Latham, uh, Gilderland, reports in Delmar as well uh, with some road closures. Let's go to the uh, Doppler estimated rainfall over the past uh, six hours. Now, keep in mind, this band has moved eastward. It takes a while to refresh, but basically from the Twin Bridges down to Voorheesville, and New Scotland. Let's get the uh, estimated rain based on uh, radar. And you can see three, well, a wide area of two and a half to three and a half inches of rain. Most of that coming in about an hour to an hour and a half. So that's why we have uh, quite a bit in the way of flash flooding, especially just to the north and west of Albany. And again, Gilderland hard hit. Uh, I want to share with you some video that we received a short time ago from Jen Brown. Those of you that have lived around here for many years know where this is. This is Stuyvesant Plaza a short time ago. Route 20 is closed. One person tried to make it through the water and did not make it. We always say never ever drive through water. You don't know how deep it is. It can be dangerous. It looks like two to three feet of water blocking Route 20 in front of Stuyvesant Plaza right now. That was that band of intense rain that slowly worked into Albany late this afternoon. So that's what it looks like. Ponding, uh, there's nowhere for that water to go. It's like basically a big lake. And that was due to the intensity of the rain. And just up the road from there in Westmere, we had a report of uh, over three inches of rain. That's why it's so flooded there. Let's go back to the, uh, the radar one more time, give you guys an update on what's gonna be happening. The concern now is shifting into uh, Rensselaer County. It's crossing, the very heavy rain is crossing over the Hudson River into Post and Kill, East Greenbush. Let me tell you, when it was raining here, it was hard to see um, it was coming down two inches per hour. Let's see if we can get an estimate on the intensity of the rain. This is based on Doppler radar, and you can see that we're still getting estimates of two inch per hour rainfall. Now, it may only rain an hour, but two inches of rain in an hour 
will cause flash flooding, especially in urban areas. So be extremely careful if you are driving this evening, especially Capital Region East into Rensselaer County. It won't take much to cause localized flooding. Streams and rivers are already very high and uh, dangerous. They will likely come up quickly too with the additional runoff. Once again, flash flood warning in effect for the immediate capital region. We have two of them, one for Albany to East Greenbush to Post and Kill uh, until 1015, and the other is basically centered on Gildalin, Colony, and Latham until 10 o'clock. This area experienced two and a half to three inches of rain. It moved through Albany. Now it's moving into Rensselaer County, down into uh, northeastern Greene County. Anybody in this band of very heavy rain uh, could have flash flooding. So keep that in mind. Uh, this is a tough night, tough to be driving in this kind of stuff. We zoom out, we'll show you that the good news is the storms to the west have weakened. So it's this that we have to worry about, additional flash flooding. It's moving from Albany County into Rensselaer County. Once again, flash flood warnings are in effect. Uh, dangerous flash flooding. Uh, we've seen it hit parts of Albany. Gildal and Latham hit hard. Delmar as well. Uh, New Salem, New Scotland. Uh, this is tracking into uh, Rensselaer County. So if you live in Res Rensselaer County, please be careful. Again, just to the west of Sand Lake, it's in East Greenbush and Ravina right now. This is tracking slowly northeastward. So I would expect flooding to increase for many of you in Rensselaer County. We, of course, will keep you updated throughout the night. This has been a News 10 ABC Storm Tracker weather alert.